What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about SwitchBot. What SwitchBot does is it turns your curtains that are dumb into smart curtains. So you can basically use any type of curtain uh, rod that you have set up in your house and you can make it smart with very minimal work. It's very easy to set up. So depending upon what type of curtain you have, you have these different types of clip-ons that come inside of the box, a USB to USB-C cable for charging, and then you have the switch bot right here, which does come in two pieces, but it allows you to just clip it right in when you need to, when you're ready for the installation. And to take it off is really simple as well. All you do is just press that button on the side and it comes right off. If your curtain rod is like mine and it telescopes, you're gonna want to use these that do come inside of the box. And if you're unsure of how to install everything, it does come with this user manual. Now here's the curtains right here, and when you look at it, you might not even notice anything, but as you get closer, you can see right there, that is one of the switch bots. And since we have our curtains opening from the middle and closing in the middle, then we needed two. So there's one right there that I just showed you, and then the other one is right here, we also, I don't know if you can see that, but we also have solar panels to potentially, because it doesn't get a ton of sun, even though the sun's beating on this side uh, right now, uh, you can run a wire down and hang it down more, but to me, that's just not that pretty. So we have solar panels right there to keep these batteries charged up for that, but the bots here should last up to about eight months, potentially, of battery usage. And you can always charge it anyway. It charges via USB-C. And setting these up is really, really easy. The first thing you wanna do is unbox it, obviously. Charge the switch bot up. Uh, you wanna be at 100% or close to 100 as you can, because you don't wanna have to go in back later, especially if you didn't get the solar panels and get those all charged up. And then add them to the app, the SwitchBot app. It's really, really simple. You sign in with that account that you create for free, and then you add it to the app. Once it's added into the app, the next thing you wanna do is basically just attach it to your curtain rod, and it literally takes minutes. It's We got six SwitchBots set up. Um, once we got the first one done, we did the rest. We probably did everything in less than 30 minutes. It was really, really simple and really easy. My buddy helped me, so don't think I'm a handyman, I'm not, but uh, even watching him do it, I feel like I probably could have done it because I'm, I'm really bad at like putting things together, but it looked, and it's, he didn't complain either. We both thought it seemed like a really simple process. Now I do have my switch bots set up on a schedule, sunrise, they open, sunset, they close, but just in the meantime, if you wanna see what we are talking about here, I'm gonna go back, this is my back window, and I'm going to do close, so let's do close. And here you go, you can see, you can hear it. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it because I have the microphone turned at me, but one thing with these ones, the back ones, and this might be a, a kind of troublesome thing, is since these kind of drag onto the ground, unfortunately, one of the things I ha kind of have to do here is I have to pull the rest of it closed, which at that point you're like, eh, do I want that or not? This one over here does a really, really good job, but the plug kind of gets in the way. So let me show you this one next, the side window. And instantaneously, right when you hit the button, it closes just like any other kind of smart product. It's very, very quick. But you can see it's getting caught a little bit there, but ultimately it does close all the way. If that plug, if I didn't have anything plugged right there, it would close really, really well. And then lastly, we have the front window, which will start from here. And we'll go front window, one moment. Here we go, we're gonna close it. So there you go. And this one too, unfortunately, <laughs> it closes most of the way uh, for the most part, but it does leave a little bit of a, a bottom part here. But worse comes to worse, all you can do is pull it over a little and you're good. But ultimately it does close it about 95% of the way. So that would really be one of the things that kind of kind of turns me off about it. It opened, they, they all open completely fine, no issues with that but they do, when I, when I close them, they all have a little bit of that's kind of left over, but I am, at the end of the day, able to just pull it closed, and then when I want to open it, they'll open fully again. Here's a quick run through the app. You can see I have all my devices set here. So for instance, if I wanted to open up one of these windows, we'll just say the back window, I'll tap on that, and then tap it on the left, and it automatically opens up for me. I can hit more, 
and I can set parameters of how much I want it to open or close. And you can do that. You can make, you know, you can set it, you can pause it. You can do slider control mode. You can just do one side or a single side if you want. You have light sensing. So if there is any kind of light, you can have it open or close. You can delay stuff. You can set a schedule, which I have set a schedule. I'll show you in a minute, not right there, but in another place. So that's those different ones. You do need a hub. Um, you can get a remote too. We don't need the remote. We're not using the remote. We're just using our smartphones, but you can use a remote as well if you want, but you definitely need a hub mini in order to set everything up. So the thing, since we have uh, three curtains, you would, we, and we, they open from the middle, we're going to need six bots and a mini hub in order to get that set up. Scenes is where I have everything set up. I go into auto and as you can see at sunrise, it's going to automatically uh, open and then close at sunset. So it's very simple to do all that stuff. And it's a, it's kind of a cool process that I don't have to think about when to open and close my curtains. So when it comes down to it, are they worth it? Kinda. So they basically go for like 90 to 100 bucks per bot. So for us, I mean, they did they sent these to me for free, but it would literally be for us, it would have cost us $600 for the bots and for the hub, it would be another 40. So you're looking at about 640 bucks potentially. Maybe if you buy a package, it's a little bit less or if you find a coupon code, it's a little bit less. So it's kind of a def definite luxury item, but it's a really cool luxury item because now we're taking something that's not smart and you're giving it a smart fix. And I think that's really, really fun and really cool because now I don't have to stand up to open up the curtains. I don't have to stand up to close them. I can set a schedule with them. Um, so, and they have a whole line of smart products. You can have all that stuff scheduled and talk with each other and all that kind of stuff. So at that point, does it work? Yes. Is it easy to use? Yes. Was it easy to set up? Yes. Um, does it work? well in that pretty much anybody can do it. Yes, definitely. So the price obviously can be a little prohibitive because it can kind of be expensive, but it depends on what you value with your convenience. And this is a super convenient product. Link down below. It works, guys. It's a really cool thing. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.